No matter any of the hurdles in my life that I get past, whether it was coming out or learning who I was, there's always that like brick wall that you run into because I have the bump. I'm ready. All right, let's, let's go. go. That has kind of like pushed me to that, you know what, let's get it looked at before it stops you from doing the one thing that really changed your life. Here we are. You excited? Very excited. I'm excited for you. I'm here at Dr. Lee's office. It would definitely suck coming all the way from Florida to be told, sorry, I can't help you. OK, I'll take your temperature. I've had this issue for so long. My drag character, Ivanka, definitely hates it. If she was a real person right next to me, I know, honestly, she'd probably look her right in the face and be like, bitch, get this shit taken care of. You don't need this on your body anymore. You're holding us back. You can do a lot better than this. And I would definitely agree with her. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Yeah, how are you? How are you? I know there's only one of you that's a patient, <laughs> that's right? That's me. My name is Corey. Hi, Corey. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Raul. Nice to meet you. I'm Hi, the best nice friend. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so what's going on? What, what are you here for? So I've been living with a growth on my butt for about 10 years. Have you ever had it looked at? I have. I've went to a couple different doctors. They've told me to put rubber bands on it. It'll just fall off. Um, doing the rubber band definitely made it increase in size. Oh, okay. And it brought a whole new level of pain that I never like experienced. Oh, so you're trying to in induce like necrosis, trying to get the thing to die off, kind of thing. Yeah. So, but that hurts too. Sometimes people might use a rubber band or floss to tie off a skin tag. What would happen is that this growth would necrose or the cells would die off, so turn black and fall off. But this is really like an old wives' tale. You're going to have potential infection, certainly swelling and pain. I do not recommend doing this at all. Especially in the gay community when you have something like this, it, like, it takes a toll on your, your confidence and everything. The size of it and the way that it like hangs, I can actually just tuck it right in. Okay. So, but it's getting to the point where it's like it's getting harder to hide. Like doing drag myself, like okay. being padded, wearing all those layers, like it doesn't matter That's if it's awesome. tucked or not, it, yes. it gets uncomfortable after so long. Okay, so shall I take a look? This must make Corey really uncomfortable, and it must be so embarrassing, especially because he loves being a drag queen. I can imagine you already have to deal with the tuck in the front, and now he's got to deal with the tuck in the back. So I hope I can help him. But first, let's untuck this mystery. Let me see what's going on here. All right, this is going to be quick. Yeah. OK. I'm a little scared now. And then it's right there. Oh, I see. You tuck it in. Yeah. That is, can I, I'm going to touch, OK? OK. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Let me see what kind of base he's sitting on. Oh, he's not sitting on too much of a base, which is good. It actually keeps your gluteus tight because you're flexing <laughs> it, it, right? The good news here is that Corey's bump is attached with a relatively small base. The bad news is his tush is tight. So for me to remove a circle of skin, I have to figure out how to close this really well that it doesn't just split open once he squats down. It could be a skin tag, but it's pretty firm. It's pretty raised up. It could be a lot of other things, too. So I can't tell you what it is for sure, but it is what you'd call a tumor, and that's like a potentially bad thing. But that doesn't denote whether something is benign or malignant. It really just means there is a big growth here. There's a tumor. A tumor is just a description of a growth, but there's always that risk of it being something more. But you know, there's some good signs here. You're healthy. You know, if you weren't healthy and you were losing a lot of weight or some issues, then we'd be thinking, you know, yeah. what's going on here. So maybe we can remove it for you, okay? Awesome. All right, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? I'm awesome, excited. thank you. When I hear the word tumor, I'm immediately kind of scared and worried. I love you. Please <laughs> don't die, okay? Yeah, we'll see but I'm really hopeful that Dr. Lee can remove it and that I'll be able to go back to the life I had prior to this growth appearing on my body. OK, so a little bit of pinch here, OK? OK. It's like it's very thin, the part that connects the two, but if you let it fall, it will actually be wider. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it stretches. I need to make the incision at the thinnest part of the stalk. And that is a little bit elevated from the surface of his tush. So that means there's a little bit of it sticking up. That's important because I want to have a little extra skin just so that I know that I have less tension on the wound edges so that he doesn't squat down and this whole thing splits open. But on the other hand, I also don't want to leave too much so that there's a little horn sticking out. I mean, this is like Goldilocks right here. I don't want to have it too bumpy. I don't want to have it too horny. 
I want just right. All right, you ready to get this thing mm -hmm. off of you? Make sure I'm not hurting you, okay? Right? Nothing sharp? Nope. Okay, good. It's definitely a sigh of relief to know that something that I felt like held me back for so long can finally just be gone. I'm sure it interfered with your outfits. Yeah, yes. your costumes. Let me see now. Is this a little like poma that's attached to it, like the edge of it? I think so. Okay. There's a little friend there. I'm just trying to close this little area here. Okay. So that it uh, sits flat. Corey's growth is a lipoma, after all, which is a good thing because this is a benign growth. The thing is that I still have a little bit of a stalk left, so now I really have to try to flatten that. And so I need to try to remove a lot of the fat inside that's propping up these sides of skin and really try to flatten this down, but not take out too much either that there's not enough skin to close this tight. It's hard to pull it. It's tight, man. He's got a tight tush. <laughs> Probably all those heels. Yeah. 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 Almost there. Aw, that looks cute. His butt is beautifully rounded and it matches the other side. I just want this area to be able to flex really easily while he's on stage dancing in those heels. Remember to just get your stitches out in 10 days, okay? Awesome. And this is your hockey sack. <laughs> there you are, you're gonna hold it. Looking at it and holding something that felt like it weighed me down for so long is just crazy to me and now knowing that I don't have to deal with it. It's such an insanely great feeling, and I'm so thankful for Dr. Lee for being able to help me and get everything taken care of. Hi. 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 Hello. How you so feel? Good. Good? This is fat right here. Oh, my. Yes. Do you want to feel it? Um. Do it. <laughs> do you want to get a chance, ever? OK. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, God. I mean... Oh. It's cold, huh? Yeah. It's weird like that. It feels weird. It feels tender, and it's it's squishy. It was, it, was, it was very interesting to feel that feeling. You think you can perform soon? Ten yeah. days. Till we take the stitches out. So in ten so days... So how am I supposed cold. to do this? I don't know. Google it. Just grab That's what YouTube's the for. scissors that you got me for Christmas. And you're just going to... Drag and Ivanka, I feel like I can really do everything that I want to do without being in pain and really holding back. And that's really exciting to go forward knowing. Bye, Tiffany. You named her after your dead dog? No. Didn't even connect the two. Mm-hmm. <laughs>